Hey everyone, it's Glum3 and Llama Girl 300 and welcome back to Phoenix Wright. I made a recording screw up and we accidentally recorded a part. We might either be incredibly unfunny or incredibly hilarious during this part. One of, yeah, one of the one two. Of them. <laughs> so let's go to the Gatewater Hotel. I'm good betting on the unfunny thing. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are? Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. I'm the bellboy of this establishment, at your service, sir. Do you ever have, like, one ear popped and one ear not popped, and it's just really uncomfortable? Because that's yeah, how I am that, right now. Does, I've just come happens? up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, I believe our guest Miss May is currently, uh, using the facilities. If you have no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Come into this random person's room. Okay, I'm gonna drink my chocolate, because I'm not speaking right now, so. Fine. We made, hot right chocolate. Over the chair. we made hot chocolate so our throats don't die. Yeah. Wait, no, hey! That was hot. Sorry. It's hot chocolate! <laughs> <laughs> what part of the hot chocolate don't you get? Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Oh, I almost forgot. Gah! You came back quick. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Who is he? Mr. White of Blue Corp. Where have I heard that name? Stop dancing. Oh. Mama girl was dancing. Dancing with my passion. It's, it's your line. White! Yes, good. <laughs> <laughs> that was his name, my sister told me. I might be far away from that. Yeah, you're too far away. No one will know everything. Ever. No one will be able to read. For all well, White was the name of the guy who ruined doing. me and Maya's mother. Could it be a coincidence? I don't know. Anyway, now that, um, Miss May, or April May, is in the shower, let's do this. That's where she is. Right? She's using this, she could be like PA or something. That, that is a long ass urination. <laughs> <laughs> There's a screwdriver sticking out of that half open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. <gasps> what do we have here? A wiretap? Mmm. Mm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing, thing like this? You did the exact same I know. Thing. <laughs> I have that tendency. I just, because I liked, I liked the things I said. Yeah, yeah. So I tried to say the same things, but then it's not funny. There's definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this. I know it. All right. It's called Three Little Bears. <laughs> I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, I, I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> Oh, Bellboy is still there. Oh, so I love that line that we just got from Phoenix. Uh oh, better scram. I look forward to tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. In, In court. court! Where else? Dun 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 What's what are you doing? That's the SVU theme song. The what? The S the special victim scene. Okay, let's stop. My time to shine. The court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. It better not show any signs of weakness today, or beyond me in an instant. Instant noodles. Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder, and we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts in this case, Your Honor. I see. She, he's dead. She. Everyone's guilty. You're all, you're all guilty. I'm guilty. Take me away. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin then. You may call your first. Well, right, this is the part. Yeah, this, this like, part's messed up. up. It's supposed to be the judge, but it says Edgeworth. You may call your first witness. I may call my first witness because I run this show. <laughs> Edgeworth is just talking to himself. I know. You may call your first witness. Just... Well, thank you. Thank you, Edgeworth. <laughs> like a spot okay, to you. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> the prosecution calls the cheese officer at the scene. Cheese detective. officer. Che cheese officer. <laughs> Velveeta. Detective Velveeta. <laughs> just go. go. Detective Gumshoe. De Gumshoe. Gum. Detective Buddha. Uh, I had Buddha, and it was Buddha. <laughs> what is Poison State? Oh my god. <laughs> your name and profession to the court. It's a comedy. <laughs> sir! <laughs> my name's Dick Gumshoe, sir! I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir! Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir! 
Let me use this floor map of the office to explain. Okay. The body was found by this window here. Why does it, she looks? What is that shape? It's like a body. It's like her I, I know, but at the cause of legs. death, those are I know, like I see, but it just looks like uh, like. What a guitar case? Like yeah, really, sure. Like a mangled guitar case. Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hand, sir. It's pretty small. So. Which reminds me, how does she store files in there? Whatever. The court accepts the statue as evidence. Instead of the clockwork inside their files, because, like, I yeah. don't know. It's They're still calling it a statue. Floor oh, plans man. added to the court record. Now, detective! Yes, sir! You immediately arrested Ma Miss Maya Fey, who was at found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir! I have hard evidence she did it, sir! Hmm. Detective Gumshoe, please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Oh. <laughs> we made this joke last time <laughs> when we tried to originally record this about the justice being a huge pervert. <laughs> yeah. Um, as soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. Then we had a lot of butt jokes. That's true. <laughs> we did. <laughs> there were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fey, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fey. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Maya Fey at the very moment of the murder. Oh, it stopped snowing. Oh, that sucks. Hmm. The very moment, you say? Yeah, it was snowing outside before. Yeah. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may begin your cross-examination. Happy New Year, everyone! Y yes, Your Honor. <laughs> this is probably not gonna... Well, no, this is not gonna be up, maybe. Oh man. Cross-examine what? Screw I couldn't see a single contradiction in my testimony. I'm gonna record this one really early. <laughs> That's what a smack sounds like. Hey, Maya just threw something at me. It was a knife. <laughs> She's like... What's this? And then that's the end of the game. <laughs> when my sister couldn't find any contradictions. Contradictions in a witness's testimony, testimony, testimony. She would bluff it and press the witness on every detail, 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 detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. We're doing echoes. <laughs> yeah, just... They work lots of times. Times, 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 banana times. Yeah, I should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. She does. All right, I, I, let's get get it. it, it so okay, everything's <laughs> echoes now. <laughs> Something the matter? No, Your Honor. I'd I'm like to begin totally my cross sane. examination. Maya Fey's arrest. Has great hair. <laughs> as soon as soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fey, and the lawyer. I don't know who the second guy is. Uh, we should know this. We just did this. Yeah, yeah. Immediately. Oh yeah, we need to press. We need to press the last statement. I think. We need a witness account describing the witness saw my favorite very moment of murder. Uh, yeah, we can't see a contradiction. So we have to press. As soon as the phone call came, we can see. We moved it already. Is that what we need to press on? I think. Yeah, yeah, I think it's this. Why is that? What's your reason? Oh, uh, it's <laughs> this. <laughs> that was the shortest, like. Hold on, just one second. Yeah? If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Huh? D d did I say that? Me? I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. Exactly what about the suspicious woman in Pink's claim was hard evidence? What? Miss May isn't suspicious. She sure isn't Pink, pal. Mm. Well, I, I guess she is Pink. That's enough. Detective Gumshoe, you're guilty. <laughs> Do you have any more solid proof other than your claims, Detective? Um, she's pink. <laughs> hmm, I guess pressing can have its advantages. Advantages. Oh, man. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. That it was something I should have told you about before. Work. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. Oh, sure, change your testimony. Who yeah, cares? it's like, you know, there we go. Hard evidence. Oh, so many new windows, so little time. <laughs> After just securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. Yeah, eyes. I found a memo written on a <laughs> piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Lab test results show that the blood was the victim's. Also, there is blood found on the victim's finger. As well as, like, all over her head, right? Yeah, that's like... Before she died, the victim head. wrote the killer's name. Oh, 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 oh. How, How do you like, like them apples? How do you like that? That's my hard evidence. What does that even mean? How do you like them apples? Like, where's that from? 
Um, Sorry. There was a rancher who had a bunch of apples and he threw them at everyone and said, Apple, have them. Apples. 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 <laughs> there are your honor. Why didn't you testify about this vital piece of evidence the first time? Oh, um, I'm Detective Gumshoe, that's why. I know, I'm real embarrassed. I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. Very oh, well. Oh well, I'll let it slide. I'll let it, I'll let it, I'm going to allow this. <laughs> Very well, the defense may begin its cross-examination. Hard evidence. Take two. After securing the suspect, I uh, yeah. Okay, so we go to the last one. Is it the last I, one? I think it's the last. I think it's the one where it says, Wait, no, no. Time. Lab such so, so, blah, blah, blah. There was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she, she died. died. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, do, I, do you want to do it at the same time like we did last time? Oh, yeah. Okay, um, ready? Llama Girl has sound effects yes, on her phone. Yes, we... Ready? Um... Autopsy. What's the report. autopsy, right. Ready? The autopsy, wait, the autopsy says the death was instantaneous. But ready? Two, three. Whoops. Oh, the the motion controls didn't failure. work. <laughs> Detective so Gumshoe! Yeah. There's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim, Mia Fey, wrote this note. That she was accusing the defendant, Maya Fey? That's really what you're saying? What? This isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course she wrote it, who else could have? Me. You have it backwards, detective. B backwards The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow by a blunt object. She died immediately! But... <laughs> but... No butting your way out of this one, detective. <laughs> More butt jokes, that's great. But, 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 I feel like but, every but. case has to butt jokes. Order, order! Tell me more about this butt that you speak of. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have the time guilty. to write anything down. Only Larry Butts would have that time. Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? W when? The day after the murder. It was the day after the murder. <laughs> the prosecution's point being... My head hurts. <laughs> but that also, autopsy report is quite outdated, Your Honor. And quite. I just, yeah. What? what? A second autopsy report was... Autopsy was performed <laughs> yesterday at my behest. Behest? I'm just changing his, I don't know. And also, you made that exact same mistake the first time we tried to record this. I said behest again. No, you said... Autopsy report. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why. Death, Death is almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object. <laughs> but there is a possibility that the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. No way! Your Honor? Yes way. <laughs> yes way. Quite, quite the way. <laughs> Indeed way. It's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. Thank you very much. That is all. Ah, cha -cha -cha -cha. Ah, cha <laughs> I see! Damn you, Edgeworth! Curses! I should have known you'd have something up your butt. He does kind of stick up his ass a lot. We literally said these exact same words the first time we heard. Why, Mr. Wright, you look quite shocked. Something you want to say? You're a sham, Edgeworth! Detective. Detective's a sham! I'm a sham! Let's go let's with do different ones. Yeah, let's do Detective's a sham. Uh, but I love Detective I love Mr. Mr. He's such a daddy bear! Detective Gumshoe, you're a sham! How could you give me a faulty report? Huh? I th thought... Detective Gumshoe? Uh, I'm disappointed in you handing him the wrong report like that. Why, I ought to cut your salary uh, by uh, 50%. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. You are at fault, Detective. This isn't going to look good on your evaluation next month. What? But more instant noodles for you. Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. That rhyme. That rhyme, indeed. Proving. Quite. Proving once and for all. That Edward is a poet. I'll talk to your report. Uh, it's the court record. Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim wasn't identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. Ah, cha -cha. Guilty! Guilty! <laughs> oh, the court is guilty! Burn the court! Darn, this isn't good. Prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. See? I'm and when you still. think poor and innocent, who do you think of? Dolly Hoth. Okay, I'm not even gonna go there yet. <laughs> exactly what part of her is innocent? I don't know. Dee, 
Do She's still wearing her freaking like pajamas. Yeah, I know. Like, what it's like it's this weird like pink jumpsuit with hearts on it. Witness your name, please. Oh god, this part again. April May at your service. Boing 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 boing. She even stands. She always stands like that. Yeah, yeah like I guess he's not in pajamas. Order. An introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. Five minute recess. <laughs> the witness will refrain from wonton winking. It's you already talked. Yeah, okay, wanton. good. But it's, it looks it's like typo. Wonton. Typo. Looks like the Chinese yeah, yeah, yeah. dumpling thing. Her hair kind of looks like a banana peel. <laughs> a pink banana pink peel. Pink banana peel. Oh, yes, your honor. This is not good. She already captured the heart of every man in the court. Tell us, where were you on the night of September 5th? Dramatic, dramatic pause, please! <laughs> Tell us, where were you on the night of September 5th when the murder occurred? Um, gee, I was like, in my hotel room? <laughs> I checked in right after lunch. Uh, and, and this hotel room is directly across from the bank. Uh, law offices? <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> both people. <laughs> I have to switch between two voices, that neither of which are mine. Mm, that's right, big boy. Please testify to the court about what you saw, and also call me a big boy, please. <laughs> I would like that big boy directed at me. <laughs> it was like 9 o'clock at night, I looked out of the window, like, you know, like, and then like, oh, I saw like a woman with long hair being attacked, and it was just like, so scary, and there's like this mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair, and then the woman like, dodged to one- uh, Sorry, I <laughs> think you're actually killing me. <laughs> <laughs> and like ran away and uh and uh <laughs> sorry <laughs> keep going keep going i can't go oh, that's it but that girl she like caught up to her and she like hit her and it was like really bad because it was like she slumped over um the one with, like, long hair, hair. she like died she kind of like slumped and um yeah it was kind of dead like <laughs> Every oh, little itsy bitsy bitsy. Wink. Hmm. Big boy. Well, Your Honor, I quite enjoyed it. I see. Boy. I'm enjoying this testimony. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see any need to trouble the witness any. Wait, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright? I didn't get called Big Boy. What yet? about my cross examination? Well, I thought the witness's testimony just now was quite firm. Just That's... like me. Didn't you? I'm just like her. Mr. Wright, I understand you were Miss Mia Fay's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques quite well. A cowardly way of finding tiny faults and perfectly good testimonies. Hey, how dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? No. I'm yes, gonna... I'm doing her. Uh... I mean, it. I'll gladly proceed with the cross-examination. If only because I have a feeling Edward doesn't want me to. She has to have some weakness. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Okay. In the next part, we will do the cross-examination, because how many minutes in are we? I can't read from here. Uh, 18. Yeah, so we'll see you guys in the next part. The common question is... Did we seriously not think of one a second oh, time? Oh, God. <clears throat> um, what is your favorite music in the game so far? <laughs> it's terrible. What is your favorite music in the game? Fine. Put that in the comments below. Please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Hold it!